Hello everyone, it's more easy graphics. I I want to use this medium to appreciate all my subscribers. You guys have been amazing, believe me. You guys have been amazing. You actually subscribe to my video. I know you're finding this video useful. And please don't sc stop st subscribing. Keep subscribing and also like and don't forget make sure you watch this video to the end because of the step by step um, tips I'll be showing the way I'll be doing it I'll be doing it step by step so make sure you watch this video to the end so you won't miss out any parts get it so and make sure you lay comments lay comments if you need this and if you want this um, if you feel this you 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 want to make inquiry about something let me feel free to tell me and also I'm going to make a church flyer today due to the turn up um, the view I have on church flyer I think most of um, uh, most people actually love um, want to know how to create a, a church flyer a good illustrative church flyer so I'll be creating one today so without wasting much of our time let's just get started so I'm going to create a new page like we all know that's a, a usual stuff we create a new page now I'm using Photoshop 2021 now I'm going to be using inch for today so I'll be using 12 by 12 inch and my resolution is going to be 300 and RGB color mode so and also I have my white as my background for the content so let's just okay now like you all know if you want need a good and a proper align and balanced work you need to have your guide your guide your lines to guide you on how to actually uh, have a, a good alignment of design and uh, do by, by, by doing this you would actually know the difference between just designing and designing be a good designer so now so I'm going to create a new layer here and here I already have my custom preset set already I made use of on you know, my column I use it of one on my roll I made use of one that's why I are seeing one line if I'm to press two you'll be seeing double of the line so but I don't want this so I just added I just wanted one so I made my margin 250 you see this 50 then i made it 250 250 250 all through so let's just keep that and uh, now the next thing to do is just to bring in my background now this is where my background is i have a folder don't worry every of the resources i'm using for this design will be dropped in the link below so let me bring this my background i'm going to bring this it down now and um, i'm going to resize it to fit into the actual spot i want it to be so i'm going to do this do this bring it down here and um, raise this back up and do this okay now at uh, this part i need to actually fill the part with the same background now what do i do i'll take my mark q2 and draw straight on it this way to this extent so when i draw to this extent the next thing i'll do is probably need to restorize this page and i would after restorizing and i will come over here to right click on it and then click on fill so fill is in the field we have content awareness we have other stops but i will make use of my content awareness because i want it to actually be aware of the content the background i'm trying to expand to the other side so it could fill it so that's how i'm going to use my content awareness so i'm going to press ok and the action will be go um, it should actually do what I asked it to do and perhaps it might not bring the actual stuff out it might not fill it with this uh, part com completely you might have some kind of um, stuff uh -huh, like what I'm saying you might have some like this sword is showing over here and it ought not to be so uh, I think that is the the strength of the, the content I mean is how it could at least the plain background it actually did it well but I think around here um, that's where the issue is but that's not a big issue so what I'm going to do now is to take my brush and um, create a new layer max a new layer rather and um, sample my color here 
after sampling the color i click ok then i'm gonna paint all through to close this so this is fine this this is okay now uh, after doing this I'm gonna, I'm gonna group this i'm going to lock them one by one and group it then call it my background i'm going to call it my background after grouping and locking it sorry so short name i'm going to call it pg so without our because of our time i would have to um so i've named the background bg now i can also lock it this way now the reason for me locking this is for me to be able to work with work on this background without uh, the background moving with my content so let's just proceed then i'm gonna bring in my logo at this point this is the church logo like i told you the uh, uh the last video this logo was got gotten from Google, so I probably need a logo for the design. So I took this from Google, and I felt I love the way it is, so I made use of this logo. So I'm gonna my content, my text are saved into my notepad. I would also open this notepad to, for you to see. So the colors I'm going to be using for the text are there. The major one is. Um, the gradient the team so the team of the of the program will be having the gradient color and the rest will be black and white so let's just go so the name of the church as we all know sanctuary and um, i'm going to place it here so after placing it here i need to change the color i think the color is affected that is why it's not showing now the font i'll be using for this is called for the sanctuary it's called sequel sand sequel sand sequel sand so it brings the option it's a family font and i would advise you to always use a family font for your design i'll reduce the the tracking to like minus let's see minus 30 is okay minus 30 okay and um, I'll reduce the size of the font. Coming to let's say 20 is okay. Okay, yeah, 22 is better. 22 is better. Then I'm going to bring the sanctuary down just to make things look nice. And as well, increase this leading to um, 17. Yeah, okay, let's say 19 is better. My, I don't want this to be the middle, so the paragraph should be by the left, so the alignment will be straight. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to pass this line. I'm going to make sure um, in any of my designs are done inside this piece. So uh, I think I need to increase the font a little bit. Okay, better. Now the next thing is just to bring the present. I can actually type this in, but I, I don't know. Let me just copy this out. Um, presents presents uh, and then paste here and control v to paste okay already is the font size as well let's say it's in is better then place it around this edge here and also increase the tracking okay it's better then the next one is just to bring in at this point uh i'm gonna be typing the text the team i won't copy it because of um there is a technique the font has some features hidden in it so i'll be showing us that uh, the features that it has now the font i'll be using for the team the team is is my is my shield now i'll be using sincel font for the um for the for the team sincel sincel now i'm using sincel board decorative board now it has a future when you keep the caps lock on you would get the curve the curvy shape of the font and when you hold down shift to type the font you have the normal normal you have a normal um, uh, sherry font 
because this is a sherry font so you have a normal sherry font without no much coily but the stems are there and every other stuff but it, would, it won't have this decorative coil, coily uh, shape so if i increase this now you'll see what i'm talking about now you can see the hell you can see the high and you can see the way it looks like now this is what i'm talking about you see this m looks m if i type this m alone it will change like can you see so i will just be fast with this let me just skip all uh, this i think i've made it well explanatory with that so i'll be typing the shield the my shield so the uh, the hem will the h would actually take that curvy part so the h will take the curvy part so this way then the e takes the curvy part also then but the s won't take the curvy part i have to hold down the shift to take the s if the s is going to take the curvy part this is how it will look like so it's different from each other so let me zoom in out this so it will see well okay now um, is my i don't want the hem to to have it so and why I think it's better this way for me. Um satisfied with this. So I will duplicate this. I will duplicate this. How do you duplicate Ctrl J or you do this? So I'm just going to do this instead of Ctrl J then bring it down to the same line. Then I will just type in my shoot. The S takes the copy parts and um the H doesn't take the copy parts. So the high doesn't take the coffee part as well. Likewise, the E doesn't take the coffee part. But I'm gonna give the hell the coffee part. Then the D doesn't have it. So this is better for. Me. I think this is cool for me, and I'm going to increase it this way. So now I told you I'm going to be using a gradient map for this. I'm going to be using a gradient map. I will increase this as well to so this extent. Okay. And then, is my shoot. I think the present should go up a bit. I will reduce it so much. Okay, better. Now, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to choose a gradient map. In my the, the in the description below i'll be sending all this i'll be choosing a gradient map and also embossing it um so i'll do the bovine and emboss mind you every i've mm, this is a preset done already so that is why it, uh, it is having it this way so um just make sure you follow this preset yeah and um you will get it well and it will give you the same results so just click on ok then i'll do the same thing here go to my gradient map then to my bevel as well it's just you know do the same thing to this so after that the next thing is just to bring in the rest of the informations and um, I have here okay some I'm going to copy this and this will also take the same font this will also take the same font and I'm going to reduce this font before pasting my I'm going to reduce the font before I put the Bible verse to it so paste over ok and um, drag it down here I'm going to put it here so place it here and um, expand it so it could be visible as well it's very important it is visible so after doing that the next thing here is um to bring in my other content like i said so i'm going to bring in the name of the pastor or let me just type this out let me type this out
So the font I'll be using for this part is um, Pastor Emmanuel and the ministry I'll be using SQL Sand. So I'll be using SQL Sand, but the SQL Sand I'll have to pick um, some certain font. So I think um, Pastor Emmanuel needs to be small letter all through. So the same thing to this, I think it should be in um, I need it to be in small letter instead of um the big letter. The capital letter rather rather. So um this is size um seventeen. I kind of increase it to probably twenty. And change the font. Um, sorry, change the track into at least 30 and change the font family size to medium. Then I'll make this bold than that, than that of the ministry. So the pastor's name will be very bold as well. Be bold, but not that very, very bold, but will be bold. I think it's the pastor's name is okay in this font. This is semi semi bold, yeah. Or well, let's give it bold and reduce the tracking. It's too much. So I guess it's okay this way. Now I'm going to put change this to red. I'm going to change it to red. Yeah. So uh, next one is just to draw my shape and bring other content in. So let me bring this content in at once. Then I'll then I'll have to copy and paste. I'll have to cut it out from here instead of coming there and cutting, cutting, cutting. Now paste everything here. Okay. Now I'm going to add something to this. The time. Time is this 5 p.m. So I'll cut this out. So after cutting this out, I can just take this backward and okay check okay okay uh, this you need to be bold because it's also important we need to know the date of the program if we don't know the date of the program what's the essence of the program so the date needs to be bold and i will reduce the font size of the of the font i'll reduce it to probably roman okay this way but the five needs to be bold and again uh, I'll be changing the color of the five Friday 25th I'll be changing it to um, let's see I'll be changing it to to black the color yes I'll be changing the color to black so the rest of the colors here would be black so I just want to be fast with this and let me increase this a bit. Okay. Now I'll come over here to pick this line too. Then hold down to my shift, then drag to this extent. Um uh, I've got to come to the stroke and pick this color. I'm gonna pick this sorry, pick this color. Pick this. Um and also come after then come over here to make it bigger. So is it okay? I think it's okay. Now so I'll duplicate these two and bring it down here. So I'm just setting uh the level of importance for each one each of them. So that's just it. Now the next one is just to cut out this 
and then you paste it outside to the next place where it will be so the church auditorium is the next one then i'm going to increase the size as well and uh, change the type to bold every bold then increase the font size i think 25 is okay then change it to black because it needs to be in black then reduce the tracking okay uh, for the address itself i would change it to black firstly increase the font size as well okay but i'll be making some adjustment on it i we'll have to copy it out then i'll be taking this down off then bring lucky work i have to bring lucky forward okay <coughs> sorry about that so this is it uh it will be it will be this way and the church auditorium should be aligned as well i think it's not aligned church auditorium is aligned to the guideline so let me do this okay then take this it down a bit i'm going to the leading i'm going to increase it i'm going to increase the leading okay it's better now okay so the church i think it should come down a bit so the last the next step to do is cut out the for information i need to cut this out uh, the information is my number if you try to call that number i'll be the one picking so it's your choice so i want this number to not to set some level of importance on this so i don't just want everything to look so flat like from the name of the pastor to the to the down part so i would like to actually create a shape for the number a rectangular shape so I'll create this this way uh, okay i think i'm cool then change the color to black bring the um, number above the shape this way and also change the color to white so that is that so the last two thing to do here i'm going to reduce the size of the number okay um, and also going to align the two together i'm going to align the two together this way Okay, it's centralized already. Okay, that's that. Okay. Um, the next thing here is just to okay. I think the social media address of the church is not a place, so it is easy this way. So let me just bring the social media icon out. the social media icon okay this is two i'm going to be using so this comes first and this is the second so i'll reduce it resize it up here then i need to work on this instagram logo i need to crop out and i'm going to be using these tools this magic eraser so uh, the first thing if you if you want to make use of crime uh, uh, magic eraser you need to exercise your layer before you can use it so i'll 
accept that then click on this click on this click on this that's all change it to black i need to change the color of a little black that's what i'll be using so this is already black that's why i'm not changing it so i'm going to reduce the black i'm going to reduce it okay to fit into the size i'll zoom in this time so i can get the actual proportion of both a whole symbol so this is the size i want it is this also to the size Okay, I am cool with this. I think we are done with the alignment and the arrangement of the old text and everything. So, the rest of the thing to do, it looks so flat and I'm not feeling it here. I'm not feeling it. So, it looks so flat. If you want to reduce this, you can reduce it. If it is too big, you can reduce it or leave it this way. So, I think it's okay now. Uh -huh. now i'm going to balance this color all together but before that i missed some parts so i need to quickly do that on the background i'll be adding two effects on the background the first one is this effect i'll place it where the background is but i need to click the background first here and then drag that shape in so it looks more but it doesn't mean i'll decide it and press ok now you can't you can't even know if it's sharp or not because it's a blur background so i would change the blending option to soft light or let's say overlay overlay looks so 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 uh ash so i think this would be better color soft light is okay so after using soft light and i'll bring in one more stuff here um this stuff is going to be used because this background looks so, so empty and this stuff looks rough and um, i think it's a wall or something you know when we use this to um this uh, instrument warfare instrument it's it's actually not going to look smooth so this place i want it to look rough somehow and again i didn't change this color the logo to uh, another color i need to make it color valley uh sorry i'm going i need to make it a black color as well so okay now i'm going to add that stuff to it a scratchy for a uh, texture so resize then change the color to multiply now it has no effects i need to invert it so when i invert it has an effect on it too so Now, do you see the effect is bold and clear? So, let me zoom out. Sorry that I didn't zoom out earlier, but I uh, I think you should be able to see that as well. So, I'm going to reduce this and I'm going to go to call, um, camera roll. Now, I like the surface being rough because this is not a smooth stuff. And what we talk, the team also is talking about shield. And the shield is not um, not a smooth surface stuff, so I just felt like adding some effect to it. So this is not looking sharp, so I need to make it look sharp. So I will reduce the effect. I reduce it to like I think twenty. Okay, it's okay this way. And one more thing. One more thing. I need to add my color, color balance to it then to balance it up. Now to add the color balance to it, there's a number I would be using. Um, make sure you take note of this to get the same effect. So you get the same effect. This the mid tone for the mid tone and the sion. The sion will be 20 plus 20 plus 28. Then the the magenta will be minus 16 then the yellow and the blue will be third minus 35 
film you come down to these parts and you just have it done as plus 22 and here we go now there's a difference between now and after okay i did raise this up fully okay now there's a difference between the two now now this if i take this off as you see it looks and this can you see the difference so this is just it uh please don't hesitate to to give comments to to, to express yourself about this and if you have want to make an inquiry you can chat me up this is also my number on the screen so funny and um make sure you subscribe that is very important subscribe and like you can see you need to watch this video from the beginning to the end you need to watch it on my youtube channel from beginning to the end so you get it step by step so uh we'll call it to the end of today's tutorial please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe all right thank you we'll see the next tutorial